Which means I can't hear a thing you guys say, but you can hear me for some reason. Oh, OBS reconnection successful. Well, Discord's taking a bit longer than OBS is this time. <laughs> so, Chad, th this is essentially what I do. Oh, oh, are you guys? I can hear you guys again. Hello. I was just, I was just saying, this is that's essentially what I have to do whenever it breaks. Just sit in silence, waiting on and the ability to hear you guys again. I'm going in for that swang. All right, that is a glancing blow. We'll never know what that was. Did Did you not hear me? Uh, oh well. Nope. You cut out now. Oh, glancing blow. Oh, I'll take that. Go ahead. All right. He's starting to bleed. Yeah, for some reason, it doesn't let me roll my unarmed strikes. Three. That first one. Hit. Second one. Miss. Yeah. So go ahead and roll the damage of the hit. Three. All right. On the bright side, you got him bleeding. It is now the one on the left's turn. Not for me to take an ass beam. That is a 12. Second attack is an 8. I believe neither of those hits. Incinerator? Uh, what? 12 and an 8. I assume both of those miss, correct? Yeah, no. Alright. Devin's turn. He is going to cast Cure Wounds on you. Ooh. Maybe it'll make him make me live through the next round of combat. That is six healing. Remy's turn. Yay. Boop. Boop. Oh, I'm, I'm back above half. Yeah. Take you made it just to stop, to stop your bleeding. What ya? Ah, gosh dang it. That is a miss. No, that's fair. <laughs> I collect his turn. I'm ready for another insult. You sink. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my turn. Um, You're supposed to... to calculate this while everyone else is taking their turn. Well, it's hard until all the people have taken their turn. I, I know the support character. Um, yeah, no. You know what? Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cast heroism on Aiden. I'm gonna make fight and they gain. Uh, once again, uh, two tempest points each turn. You All cast right. heroism on me. Yeah, you get two yeah. tempest points every turn. You're filled with bravery and strength. Well, not strength, but mostly bravery. Jimbo's turn. Hmm. I wonder what I'm going to do. Alright. That's two more deck saves I need to make. That is a 10 and a 16. So a pass, or a fail and a pass. Maybe. So that is two acid damage to this one. And we go back to Aiden's turn. Aiden the Unhitting. Ah, I wish I could rage. <laughs> well, you can smite. 
I have to hit first. There we go. Well, I think you hit. Which one are you hitting? We got hurt to your left, looking mostly fine to your her, her front, and then bleeding to your right. Uh, that one. All right, hurt to your left. Hurt, hurt to the left. All right. So that is ten damage. Do you want to smite or no? I'm I'm gonna go ahead and smite. All right, go ahead. Three d eight, right? Yeah, yeah, three d eight because he is an undead or a fiend. You don't know. <laughs> Does he die from twenty five damage? He's dead. To the face? <laughs> Actually, hold on. There is a roll I need to make <laughs> to to figure out if he's dead or not, because zombie. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Did he have to surpass 25 damage? I'll, I'll just tell you, undead fortitude. Yeah, if, it's, if, it, if damage like reduces the zombie to zero hit points, it must make a con save with a DC of five plus the damage taken, unless it's from oh. <laughs> unless it, oh wait it's, unless it's from radiant or a critical hit. That was radiant, so either way he would have just died. <laughs> On a success, he just does not die. <laughs> that was a DC thirty though. <laughs> yeah. Now we got this one. Who? Let me just do the random targeting system. All right, Valet, back. Oh, <laughs> this yeah, is gonna go. be fun. <laughs> oh yeah, dog. Hit See, me. first attack is going to be a twenty-three. Yeah, dog. For why <laughs> I can't roll anything but max damage what today, the heck, man. I'm, def I'm definitely under no cert. <sighs> I was I was just saying I'm definitely under no circumstances is casting inflict wounds against you guys this session. <laughs> uh, right. What's that natural twenty for? His second attack. All right, dog, hit me. I'm down. At least you're not dead. I've just learned I should never go in. I should just be I should I should just be a shitty ranger. It is the one who is on Aiden's turn. Going going in has not has ten times out of ten led to my downfall. So anyone wanna tune into the stream real quick, see what that uh, second roll was? <laughs> or what that first roll on? <laughs> uh, another it nat twenty. Yeah, this time on Aiden, because it's the other one's turn. He can't target Vale. Bro. Did I just take 14 damage? That is 11. Oh, that was the 14 damage. That oh, was because one of them nat 20 on Vital. Okay, did you already do both your attacks? I, I am doing the second one. That is a 16. I'm not sure if that hits or not. My AC is 17. So it's a miss. I... Well, it's turn. Let me go ahead and death save. <laughs> Alright. Devin's turn. He is going to... 1, 2, 3, and cast Cure Wounds on Valet. Yay. You heal for seven health. Yay. Allowing you to pretty much completely avoid the consequences of that nat one death save. Ooh. Remy's turn. Oh, Wham. Get a natural one. Alright, uh, got This Can one's the most ready? hurt, right? <laughs> yeah, that one's the most hurt, the one on Valet. Wapia. Glancing below. Oh really? Oh, okay, sweet. Take three damage. All right. And then we move on to Eclecta. Uh, 
You just want to do this one. All right. Send me your insult. That's more of a threat than an insult. It's actually just a fact. Yeah. <laughs> That's a five. Holy shit. Go ahead and roll your max damage. Apparently facts hurt these guys. Apparently. They, they must be internet idiots. Because he's looking hurt. Jimbo's turn. That's that's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> All right. That's a five and a four. They both fail and take the okay. three acid damage. The one on Vale is now in critical condition. Let go. I'm just good like that. <laughs> yeah. No. All right, Aiden's turn. <laughs> do, 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 I'm going to attempt to attack the thingy. Which one? There's two of them. The one that's trying to murder me. All right, so the one in front. That's a hit. All right. Get smitten. Go ahead and roll your smite damage. Alright. He is now in critical condition. I will ask, do you have any bonus action stuff you want to do real quick? Because they're both in critical condition. I unfortunately cannot. The only bonus action stuff I have is activating Divine Favor, which is a spell slot, or doing my um, hoof attack, which I can only do if I charged. All right. Which I can only. <laughs> it's so dumb. The hoof attack is dumb. All right. The the one on the right is going to target Vale yet again. Dirty twenty. But I'm going to say since they're in critical condition, they're losing one of their attacks. Vale takes four Thank damage. You. Thanks for your mercy. I mean, you can just attack me. Oh, I'm about to with and the other guy. I know, but that's a twelve. <laughs> they're they're not gonna TPK us. All right, the one on you, the one attacking you gets two attacks. That I guess to keep us two attacks. That's another twelve. Valet's turn. They, it's like neither one of those hit. All right, I'm gonna take a a, a, a sexy stab. All right, roll to hit. Fifteen. That is a hit. Five. Five damage. Alright. He's definitely not looking very good. And, um... Fine, I'll, I'll try, I'll, I'll put my, my faith that Flurry of Blows will finish him off. Alright. Go ahead and roll it. That's a hit and a glancing blow. All right, you're able to fit. Or you're able to. Let's see if if it it finishes him off with that second attack. He's barely still standing after that second attack. Devin's turn. And he is going to cast Sacred Flame on that guy. Which forces a deck Woo. save, and that's definitely a fail. Oh, that's one DD8. <laughs> there we go. And he falls dead. Remy's turn. Now to this guy. Yep. Well, bam. 
<laughs> oh no. Give me no, the D6 of, D6 death. of death. Everyone. I'm just gonna, since I already have it queued up, I'm just gonna do this. I, I'm not, like, boosting my attack. That's just me rolling a D6 of death. <laughs> Alright. You just wildly miss. Eclectus turn. Same thing. I'm doing it twice. You're doing a what? We're doing it twice. We're doing a play in the field. Alright, that is a 13 on his wisdom save. Uh, so close. Jimbo's turn. Yeah. <laughs> I also just remembered he he was supposed to get disadvantage on a attack rolls after his failed saves, but all right. Let's see what he does on that deck save. That is a twelve. Meets beats. He takes no damage. Aiden Stern. Do 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 da 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 da. Ah. Oh, I meant to roll that advantage. Go ahead. And... You hit. Go ahead and roll me your damage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Three. Get an early hit. Yep. He, he's still critical condition. That is a 14 and a 22 to hit you. Um, one of those hits. That is six damage then. Do well, I pair with him? Wait, what was what was the um, two attacks? Uh, 14 and a 22. Oh, okay. I can't do, do I, anything. For the do, I, do I have hair with me? Um, I. I don't believe Eclectic has any more concentration spells, so that depends yes. on when it goes active. Eclectic when does the... Or actually, no, it wouldn't, because you guys both have had your turn since, since then. So yeah, you gained another two temp hit points. Cool, I'm at one HP. <laughs> brother! <laughs> Valet's turn. Oh, brother. <laughs> kill this guy. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting the fuck away. Or just finish it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot. Roll it. <laughs> Trust himself. That's a hit. Give me your damage roll. Two. All right, he is barely standing. I think I've just decided that Vale's gonna be a character that only exists for stealth and social sequences and nothing else. All right, Devin is going to once again Sacred Flame. He nat ones it. Oh fuck! And burns in holy fire. Pop off! Oh. Let's go! Ooh, we alive. We did it. We, we survived. Today. Thank you. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> it's what you guys hired me for, right? Maybe not these guys specifically, but. Yep. Fighting oh. some undead. We did it, guys. <laughs> oh, what is his reaction to me fighting with a deck of cards? <laughs> he, he's seen all sorts of types. He doesn't seem to okay, be that's fair. too interested in it. Though he, he is going to say, I'm going to need to remember not to hit you with the aid next time. Yeah, that yeah, would be good. And you guys make it to this village for the for the evening. Yep. Whoa. I assume you you are going to pick or stay in the local tavern. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Yeah, five silver each. Sure. I have just that much in on me. And then everyone can get a long rest.
Now wait, could I could I convince Devin that we could share a room to save money? Yeah, we we could split the cost and share a room. I've got a bed rule, so you can have the bed. Nice. So you you spend two silver or five copper, and he pays the rest of it, or he pays the additional two silver, five copper. Sleepover. Vale spends the night with a holy man. Sounds nice, nice. Everything is a-okay. And then you guys are able to make it the rest of the way to the city of Emnatch. Do you find it the holy man that you ever struggle with temptation? Not really. Okay. Of course I never made a map for this one. I am an idiot. <laughs> just immediately goes to sleep. I <laughs> like okay. Am... I, I I get anything out of this one. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to do that. Yeah. So you guys arrive in the city. What do you want to do? I never prepared a map for this one. For some reason. Oh well, this one we were we were we were only spending the night in, right? No, you guys. He's spent the night in the tavern and then walk the rest of the way to the city of Imnatch. Right, where you're at Imnatch now. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I will, while you figure it out, start working on a map for this place. <laughs> I, I thought we were, we were trying to rush to... Oh, no, we we're, are there. Never mind. We're trying to intercept mm -hmm. this, this cultist uh, meeting. But A, we need to find it first. And B, we should probably like, scout it out. So, I guess my first order got to would... do that the other night. I guess my first order would be like, I don't know, see if there's any suspicious criminal activity that may be linked to the cultists. Give it's me an investigation vague, check. Kind of a vague thing to search for. I'm right? going to help him on that. <laughs> Whoa. So you get help action, my friend. Oh, actually, I got pretty good on investigation for once. Whoa! Oh, I'll go with the 16. Hey, we got the two out of the way. <laughs> Let me check the criminal organizations in the area. No, it's still too soon to bring those guys in. Oh. <laughs> Well, we'll say you end up uh, as you're looking around. You no, know, do you see an, the inside of an alley, a figure wearing similar robes to the other cultist, speaking to what you recognize to be a member of the Fire Roses? Okay, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one that I'm, that I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. do, do I also recognize this crass? Um, I'm not. Give me a history to see if you recognize him as a as a, a fire rose member, but you at least see the man in the robes making or speaking with someone in the alley. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I was shuffling my brand new deck that I just made. Uh. History. History. Bonk. Yeah, it's okay. Well. We'll say if Valley says something, you do, but if he doesn't uh, my, say anything, you don't. My main question is, like, do I know this person specifically? No, do you I just, just recognize his colors. Yeah, you just recognize the stuff he's wearing is 
pretty standard for Fire Roses members. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna try to like sneak in to try to see if I can eavesdrop on their conversation. All right, give me a stealth and then a perception. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Okay. It almost landed on three, but then it landed on seventeen. All right. You you hear the fire roses guy saying, "Hey, so you're wanting how many elder leaves? You you know those are hard to get. We we were thinking about twenty, and I'm sure a group of your status can figure something out. The sharks were able to get us blood gems after all." Get, give me a few days. I'll see what I can do, and and then or also don't be surprised if you see a posting of the Adventurers Guild. You you the other guy laugh for a bit and say, "All right, yeah, that should give plenty of time for my friends and I to all meet up. See, meet back here in we'll say five days. Deal, deal." And then, and the hooded guy, he goes out the way not related to you. The Fire Roses guy starts heading your way, likely just trying to leave the alley in that direction. I'm just kind of, I'm just going to kind of, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just standing there looking casual. He, he doesn't even seem to notice you. All right. Once he's gone, I'm gonna go back over to to Remy and just basically say like, "All right, so the meet they they haven't gotten the meeting yet. They still need to get supplies in order. It seems like they're gonna at least do it within the next five days." He says they need elder leaves. They they're conscripting the the the, the fire roses to get some elder leaves. Crass. Do I know what elder leaves are? I'm also gonna roll to see roll, if I know what elder roll leaves Roll me a are. nature check. Nature. You. <laughs> Neither of you know what these are. Fudge. Is it possible though that I might, if this is like a thing that they've dealt with before? Also, you can get advantage because of backstory. Yeah. Watch me get something worse. Yeah. All right, you don't know too much about them, but I'll send you some, or a little bit of information. So are we just waiting for Kraz to get the map finished? I mean, y'all can just talk. Yeah, yeah and, and you guys can uh, you guys can do stuff while I prepare the city map. That's funny. Hello. Can Oops. you not hear us? Now here's my question, Crash. Oh, <laughs> is the it, the wisdom part temporary? But is the other part temporary? No, that's permanent. <laughs> Why would you do that? That sounds like a bad deal. So what just happened? My audio went out. Well, Vi Vital and Remy, he, he observed a meeting between a cultist and a member of the Fire Roses as well. They were looking around and learned a little bit of information. Vital seems to, mm -hmm. or it seems Vital's character knows what they're, they're talking about. Remy does not. All right, I'll I'll explain that to to Remy, I guess. It's a it's a it's a it's a plant that makes that take that makes you older. It takes you to the beach that makes you old, <laughs> and then, but the, but also it gives you a temporary boost to wisdom. Uh, interesting. So it's a leaf that makes you older and gives you a temporary boost to wisdom. Yes. Uh, and Bale's like, I am also not sure what they need that for for their ritual. I assume there's some alchemy nonsense they can get from that. 
I, I don't know nothing about that sort of those sorts of sciences. Yay. But also, I guess this town is Fire Rose territory, so that's something to be concerned about. Kraz. Remy? Is the cultist dude still standing there, or did he walk away too? No, they, they both walked away in opposite directions. Did I see where the cultist guy went? You saw him leave the hall, or you saw him leave the alleyway and then turn right. Can I go try to see if I can find him? Roll me a perception to see if you can locate him. Oh boy, perception. Ah, you know, my bad rolls you are coming can, in, guys. You cannot. <laughs> Ooh, gosh dang it. Can I Fudge. roll for it, or was it like, I, my, my focus is on the other guy? I'll say you can give it a roll as well. I'm helping. I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say you are able to locate him. He seems to just be walking around, potentially heading somewhere specific, potentially just wandering, enjoying the sights. Uh, I'm like seeing Remy kind of like scanning the, the horizon, trying to find him. I just like tap Remy's shoulder and point over there. That's him. I'll, oh, I'll say one. Remy can get another attempt to find him. Oh, okay. Hi, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna have Re I'm just gonna tail him and, and just tell Remy to follow me. Yeah, R Remy, you trust that he actually sees this guy, but you you cannot tell no you cannot tall, tell where he is enough. in the crowd. Not tall enough, can't see him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm three feet tall. I can't see. I'm just gonna believe him. <laughs> yeah, Vic. Vale, you tail him for a bit and end up, up seeing him go into some kind of alchemist shop. Okay. Um... Is there like a window? Can I like see if it's like busy inside? Uh, uh, you, you're able to look through the window and it seems to just be that guy and likely the person in charge of watching the shop. Okay, uh, I'm I'm not gonna enter. I'm just gonna wait outside. Uh, are are they in there? Yeah, you I'll say that. at this point, Remy. If you look in the window, you can also see the guy. Can I try to quietly enter to see if I can pick up what they're talking about? <laughs> Roll me a stealth can I, check. Can I try to eavesdrop? That's the best way of yeah, saying that. Roll me that. a stealth check to get close enough and then perception to see what you can hear. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, Gambit die, just in case. <laughs> yeah, you... You managed to... <laughs> You manage to enter, you hear a little bell go off like as the door opens, but you quickly Ooh. dive behind a, a, a shelf, and when they turn to look, uh, they don't see you, so they just go uh -huh. back to th their conversation. Haha, uh -huh, I'm three feet tall. <laughs> so, so you're telling me you found a way to get these elder leaves. Yeah, yeah according to the contact, it, I should be able to have them in around five days. Hey, so you managed to get a recipe? Yeah, I, I've also got someone bringing in, in a recipe I can learn from. Um, though, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it. These are difficult potions. Well, just remember, you don't, you don't make the potions, you don't get the money. Yeah, I'll I'll see what I can do. You be, you better. We're gonna we're gonna need those potions. And he starts walking out the door. I am going to stay hidden. He leaves the building then. 
Ooh, who should I who should I go after? Should I go after the shopkeeper who's getting the recipe, or should I go after the dude who's getting the? Mm. Well, I feel like at this point we could we could split our efforts. Um... I think I'll go after the cultist, and you can deal with the shopkeeper. Okay. Haha, ha, divide and conquer. <laughs> We shall t keep t yanking at this thread one at a time. <laughs> Me and Remy, the stealth boys. Let's go. The, the two who are connected criminally to everything. <laughs> Criminal stealth boys, let's go. Meanwhile, what are the other three doing? Yeah, what Just are y'all doing? Other four. I can't forget, Tennant. Um, vale, Eclecta, was... and Jimbo. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? And while Remy and, and Valet are... Or wandering the streets looking for stuff. Oh god, I've split the two- my two personas have split into separate entities. <laughs> yeah, Chris, I guess I'm doing nothing. Since you didn't call I'm me. Magic. Um... Oh, wait, I, I meant Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said- you said- you said Vale, Remy, or, uh, like the, uh, uh, Jimbo, what are you doing? And then you said Valet's off doing something else. I'm like, oh no, I'm split. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get any help from our uh, the local my local branch. All right. Despite, well, despite my history, Krez, I am not in fact playing two characters this time. <laughs> we'll say roll me a persuasion check to see if you're able to convince any of them um, that basically there is a genuine threat that they're going to need to help out with. Or help you out with. I at least have a bonus to this. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I unfortunately can't help you because I we I we are out of earshot. <laughs> Go ahead and roll it with advantage because you are a member of the group. Okay. <laughs> Not like a good dog. The guy says, T "Tell you what, if you can get me some kind of evidence or some kind of actual evidence that they're there, or that they will be in a certain place at a certain time, let me know, and I'll, I'll see if I can spare a man or two to go help you out." Do we not? Do we not know what time the meeting's supposed to take place? We don't know where exactly. Yeah, that's what me and Remy are up to. We're, we're, we're cracking we the know, mystery over here. We know when. Right? Not really. Oh, okay. Well. Raz, can I consult the map oh, I stole okay. and see if I can play, <laughs> gain any more information about go, where I am here? Go ahead and give me an investigation. <laughs> yeah, after, after that, Aiden, and the the guy says, "Oh, by your by the way, your father heard a bit of an interesting story about your activities and people you've been hanging out with, and he's been wanting to speak with you and basically clear up the rumors. So you might okay. need to head back to Tunson sometime soon when you're done with all of this." He's been hearing you okay. hanging out with criminals. Oh. That way when I can. Yeah, n no rush. Put your mission first, but when you get some free time, it wouldn't hurt. Once I'm done saving the world. <laughs> and Eclecta, you are unable to gain anything of interest from the map. Or anything additional of interest. Right. Um, in that case, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna look for another house that seems like, similar to the type of hideout we saw before, and see if I can't, like, you know, see people. Going. Give me an investigation. Okay. It's gonna go better this time, I'm sure of it. Well, shit. <laughs> So you're yeah, unable to find really anything. And what about you, Jimbo? What are you doing? 
we investigating something? Hello. Oh. <laughs> you be investigating something. The, the party is essentially in look around for leads mode. Uh, R Remy and Vale are, are currently searching the town or searching the city for really any kind of activities of organizations working with the cults. Aiden is is at his branch trying to gain support, and a collect uh, uh, was was studying a map and then left to go look for basically criminal hideouts. Cool. I'm gonna wander around like a lost child. What? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say you what? stumble upon Vale right at, right as the cultist is leaving the, the potion shop. Yeah. Hey, bro. Okay, Jimbo, you can be my Watson. What? I just split up with Remy. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? What? What are you doing? I got an elite nine cultist over here. Come on. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Tiptoe. Let's, let's go ahead and tune into Remy at the Alchemist shop. Is is there like a like open close flip sign on the door? I'll say yeah. Uh, okay. Still hiding. I'm just going to say, you know, you're making a big mistake, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Who... Who's there? I, I don't see you. And if you're, if you're with the roses, I. We we agreed that we that you would leave me alone. And, and uh, yeah. What's what's going on? Yes, I've been holding on to this. Okay, so remember when we the dude gave us the fi like a fire rose? Yep. Flame I still have copies. that. I still have that. Yeah, you guys, or no one ever said they use it for anything, so it makes yeah, sense. I'm gonna hold it in my. Is it hold on? Is it like wither? Is it like wilted away by now? Oh, I'll, I'll say it at this or by this point, it's definitely starting to rot. It, de it, it's unlikely that would be anywhere near as potent as when you first got it. Okay, I don't need for it to be potent. I'm gonna step out from where I'm hiding, twirling. Uh, like spinning uh, the flower on its gently spinning the flower on its stem between my fingers. Yeah, and we've got a problem already. What would the problem be? We we had a deal. I know, but as you know, deals change, and I'm gonna I'm gonna flip over the the sign from open to closed and lock it and lock the door. <laughs> He he is looking at you very much worried. See, I just heard the conversation you had with the gentleman that just left. Yeah, he was a customer. If, if you if you guys have any kind of conflicts with him, I didn't know about it, and I would prefer to be uninvolved. Well, if you want to be uninvolved, then you're going to listen very carefully to what I have to say to you. Do you have any idea what his group is up to? Uh, I know, I know they're wanting some potions of deep thought, but I've got no real clue what he's using them for. I tend to not ask too many questions after first encounter with you guys. Wait, did he say he was with? Did he did he say he was with us? No, he he, he never said he was with the guy. No one ever said that the coldest was with the roses. Oh. Well, what is a what does the potion of deep thought do? <laughs> well, it's a bit of a difficult potion to make. Not a very common one, but. It is a. It uses the, the essence of an elder bear, of an a few elder leaves, leaves to strengthen the, the power of the mind that it it provides, while removing some of its more 
unpleasant side effects. And what are those side effects? Well, for one, eating elder leaves can cause you to age a bit more. It can accelerate your age a bit. And especially for humans, that is not a fun thing. I'm not sure how halflings are in age goes compared to us, but it's definitely not it's definitely not fun for us. Well, this is what I want you to do. When that man comes in to get his recipe, I want you to let's say alter it. <laughs> Uh, I'm not actually... He's not picking up the recipe. He's picking up finished products. But... Oh, even, even I, better. <laughs> but you're wanting me to... mess with the potion a bit, then? Yes. Make it I've, more negative than positive, if you can. I've got an idea for something. I've... I could, could pick up, in addition to the recipe for the deep thought, I could pick up, up a recipe for weak mind. It's a slight alteration to the deep thought that makes it, essentially reverses its effects. Yeah, it, it is definitely expense. it is much more expensive and uses some valuable things, so I would like to request some kind of, I would like to request some kind of benefit or payment for her changing it up but I'd be willing to for a little under the standard price how much we talk mm -hmm. Let's see. T 10 gold should cover the additional herbs and the recipe or at least it'll partially cover the recipe I can get more value out of it later yeah, ten, 10 gold and an assurance that the roses will continue to not meddle in my affairs. Ooh, I, I can't completely offer that, my friend. But you know what I'll do? I'll throw in... I'll give you 13 gold. Give me a persuasion. Do I get a bonus because I'm going because I'm giving him more? <laughs> I'll take it's, that as a new... Yeah, it's a bit of a lower DC because you are active or because you are in a very Fair. threatening position, but <laughs> Alright, but I would I would like to at least request that you let the let your boss know to that I would prefer to be left out of these in the future. Well, Kimbo, looks like you're on your own for your investigation. I gotta go. Oh. I will pass along the message, and I'm gonna walk over, and I'm gonna put 13 gold down on his, on the table, or the his desk. Always nice making arrangements with you. Of course. And just remember, anyone who crosses us, and I'm gonna take the flower and I'm gonna crush it in my hand does it end up so well yep I I remember as he looks down at oh and at his arm you can't tell what exactly he's looking at it from the shelf but it's likely that he that he is just remembering past encounters uh oh and when that when uh when the dude comes by to pick up his order you were never here i was never here and give him this and i'm going to hand him a uh playing card with the joker on it uh, all right just tell him it comes with just tell him it comes with the potions Got it. 
have a good day, sir. And I'm going to walk out. And just before I walk out, I'm going to flip the sign back to open. Do you unlock the door again before you walk out? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to run straight into the door. <laughs> That'd be funny. So, yeah, J Jimbo, you end up meeting up with Valet. Hey, and he points... He points you to he points over towards a man wearing a robe similar to the other cultist and and basically suggests that or ask you to go follow him with him and then valet vanishes into the crowd after him I'm gonna follow him the best I can we're in a crowded place it is is around afternoon on a bit of a busy street. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and follow them the best I can and keep my distance. All if, right. If they end up like spotting me or like getting suspicious, I'm gonna dip out of sight and disguise self. <laughs> Got it. Go ahead and roll me a perception with advantage because you because Vital did point him out, or at least Valley pointed him out. Un unfor you. Unfortunately, your height, similar to Remy, starts to become an issue as people much taller than you start getting between you and him, and eventually he is gone, and by the time you get vision on where he was... <laughs> uh... You had one job, Jimbo. <laughs> you think detect magic would uh, that wouldn't make a trail I could follow? Would it? They have a blood gem. If oh. if he's if he's got a blood gem and he's within thirty feet of you, it might not make a trail you could follow, but you at least know where it is as long as it's within thirty feet of you. Do that once I lose sight, and hopefully that works. All right. Or it does something. You know, give give me a standard luck check, one d twenty. Unfortunately, there seems to be a lot of magical or items with different levels of magical auras in the area, and if the blood gem's in there, you can't pick it out from the from the rest. That's crazy. Well, back to wandering around like a lost child. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> family. <laughs> You have none. <laughs> you have, if you if Jimbo's like actually saying that, then I'm going to say, "Hey, someone is going to walk up and just are you lost, child?" <laughs> Not fully realizing you are a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> this is ultimately if you want Jimbo to actually be joking, to be like, "Oh, family," <laughs> but. The guy walks up to me or whoever. I'm just gonna look at him with big pleading eyes. And be like, have you seen um some people in some robes? I haven't. I I lost my parents. They were in some nice robes. Whatever the fucking robes look G like. Give me a deception <laughs> check. Oh with shit. With advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh uh, yeah. He he was right over there. You, you want me to pick you up? Give you a little lift? Yes. He he Wait, is going. <laughs> He Hang on, I just realized. Yeah. Full on fucking beard. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's an idiot. Simple as that. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, the guy. The guy picks you up, and you're able to, with your, f her view that is pretty much much higher than Jimbo has gotten ever before. You are able to easily <laughs> spot the guy, as he he walks over to a blacksmith. Gotcha. Okay. Um, thank you, sir! You're welcome. And I kind of, kid. I wriggle out and start running over. What, what a weird kid. <laughs> Duck behind whatever I can and kind of peer. He went into a blacksmith shop? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, um, I imagine as a blacksmith, it's not really like just solid building. It is more, or not like completely walled in. But yeah. you you get the point. Yeah, give me a I... guys. Everybody knows the blacksmith is secretly a silver dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. I assume you're going to sort of try to eavesdrop on what he's saying. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak through the doorway and see if I can. Yeah, give me stealth and perception. Well, should I change into a child? Do you think that makes them less, or would they kick me out? It's up hmm. to you. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disguise myself as a three foot five child. All right. Wait, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. Wait. Do I have something else other than disguise self, or am I dumb? No, I'm just dumb. Okay, disguise self. I am now a child. I'm going to kind of try to sneak, but also not look suspicious into the opening and, yeah. and hide behind the shelves, just kind of look at shiny objects. Yeah, I'll say you can leave out the stealth roll, but give me a perception to see if you can hear what he's saying. Oof. Oh, that wasn't supposed to be advantage, was it? I'll, I'll let you re-roll without the advantage. Uh, please. I've come so far. <laughs> From 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 this distance, you are not able to understand a word of what they're saying. You could try to get closer, but they're def they're definitely even as a small child. They're definitely going to notice you if you're not careful. So I should have taken the the whisper or the whatever through the wall or something. I don't know. Yeah, so... I'm trying to see if I can do anything. Well, I think, does any, is anybody else doing something? <laughs> or is this the main plot right now? I think, no, it's I think all we're you, bro. God damn it. Yeah, we're currently in the main plot. <laughs> Eclecta oh, is looking for houses. Aiden is at his order. And Remy is currently terrorizing a shopkeeper. Of course. Vale, who knows where. Bro, I think the false Hydra me. got him. He disappeared. The false hydra got him. The false hydra got who? Exactly. Um. Minor illusion. I'm trying to. Okay, now that just lost one minute. Never mind. God damn it. I guess there's they'll see me if I get closer. If you're not careful. I'm gonna be careful as a small child. All right. Give me a give and me a stealth check. Inch closer. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, you're able to find some nice boxes that you're able to get pretty much right behind and close enough to hear them. God, oh man! Uh, you you hear the blacksmith say, "Listen, I I know you're wanting, and I know you need these weapons soon, but we've not Nottingstone hasn't been out exporting metal for over a week at this point. I I just don't have any. Well, I'm gonna need need about twenty short swords." Either you find a way to get it to me, or I'm going, or I'm going to find a way to get one to you. And you, you can tell by by the way he's saying that he he is definitely he threat he acting he's definitely trying to threaten this man. Well, I'll see what I can do, but unless the Unless the Nodding Stone Mines are able to start up, I I don't, don't know if I'll be able to. I'm not sure if anyone here can, can help you out. 
hunt, and the guy is going to, who basically give him just a, a, re, a glare, her and start turning around. Looks, looks for for a brief sec. He looks dead at you, but doesn't seem to notice and and walks away, vanishing into the, or into the crowd once more. Shit. <laughs> I guess. You want to try to follow him again? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's see how far I can take this. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a perception. Gonna... Kyle's going to scuttle out of the store. <laughs> Blacksmith's like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, said, yeah, as, you, as you run away, he's going to... <laughs> yeah, as, as you start running out of the store, the, the blacksmith's going to say, hey, careful, those weapons are sharp. And you are <laughs> you end up losing track of the hooded figure. Damn it. Probably Damn it. for good this time. Damn it. Okay. I'm going to I guess wander around again, try to find somebody. <laughs> Alright, and given the time I think that is a good spot to end the session. <laughs> awesome. We is have it? Possibly is, foiled one part of their plan. <laughs> yes, yeah, nine. It is nine forty, and I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Yeah, I, I would also like to state right now. We'll, we don't have to worry about it too much at the moment, but we definitely will more in the future. I. Or, with my with college starting up, I'm not going to be able to do Mondays at this time. Aim, aim start starting around August. Yeah. Like after the first week of August, I won't be able to. So we're gonna need to find a different time that we can and do this or do the eighth and party. Okay. I'll be I'm super busy during the fall, so I don't know. Yeah. Tuesdays, I don't, we'll figure it out. Whatever. Yeah, we'll fi we'll figure something out. But I am going to go ahead and end the stream here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If so, find a way to let me know. If not, again, find a way to let me know that we can do better. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.